Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. I have faith in American democracy, but more than that, I have faith in the American people. I, have, I believe that um, the concept of human self-determination is the central project of humanity and that the American people are stepping up to the plate right now to reclaim that. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal and that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. And in the Oval Office, President Kennedy prepared to address the nation. Now, when the American people tuned in that night, they witnessed something extraordinary. Extraordinary. The President of the United States speaking forcefully from the heart and at significant times extemporaneously about what he described as both a domestic crisis that transcended politics and a moral issue that is as old as the scriptures and as clear as the American Constitution. But this is what makes America special. It really is. It's a place where anyone, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, or religion, can and must live freely, openly, and proudly as they truly are. And we need to make sure that everyone can do it safely. I was um, in the relocation camp from the years, my years, from four to seven. We were actually released about six months before the end of the war but not permitted to go back to the West Coast, which was considered a military zone. My father had been separated from our family uh, because he was considered a, a threat to the security of the United States. I want you to get a good look at me, not only because I'm handsome, <laughs> but primarily because I'm a survivor of the relocation camp, and there are not many of us left. This is not the land of my birth, but it's a land uh, for which I hold the greatest affection. And I certainly will come back in the springtime. Thank you. Um, in what was the time of Cold War and threats of totalitarianism and the like, you know, we're still confronted with some of that, and that's indeed some of what I addressed mm -hmm. yesterday, making the case for freedom and democracy. And I think that's something that the, the Irish and, uh, and, and America have always had as a shared value. Let us begin. The work we have in front of us is necessary and we had better get started. And it's not gonna be wrapped up in a nice bow by the time I'm done doing the work, but keep going, please keep going because it's, it's about all of us and humanity being in a better position in the end. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on.